Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rick's Garage. Today the HFP goodness continues with the installation of the side skirts and a bonus install of a new trunk emblem. When I found out that the HFP kit had side skirts, I was a little apprehensive. Personally, I think Honda did a pretty good job on the standard equipment, and even though the SI shares the same skirts as the base model, they still seem to suit the car pretty well. Now, there's nothing wrong with the carbon fiber look that you get with the Type R or the Sport Hatch if that's what you're into, but as far as styling goes, I'm hoping these side skirts will be a little less need for speed and something a little more subtle. Honda's instructions show three self-tapping screws that fasten down the front of the skirt. What they don't show is the front mud guards that are equipped on almost every SI. The mud guards share two of the three screws in the instructions, but there's one more tucked away halfway into the wheel well. The rear of the skirt has two self-tapping screws, and once those are removed, along with the four push clips underneath, the whole thing slides forward and detaches from the car. With the skirt removed, it exposes all 11 Yes, 11 clips down the side of the car. If you've watched enough of my videos by now, you'll know how I feel about plastic clips. Thankfully, these just need to be rotated 45 degrees to remove them, but as always, here's the part number just in case. Before the clips can be reinstalled on the new skirt, the foam pads need to be replaced. The new ones that came in the kit are a little bit thicker. Now, I'm not sure if that's by design or if it's because they haven't been squashed down yet, but either way, I'll be glad to have firm, secure body panels. Once the skirt's been loaded up with clips, it's ready to go back on. Just line everything back up, apply some pressure, and once the skirt snaps back on the car, just replace the screws you removed earlier and the job is done. Pretty straightforward. Now that the skirts are on the car, they give it a bit more presence without going over the top. The only unfortunate part is that the new skirts have a slightly different contour on the front than the originals, so the OEM mudguards don't fit. Not a problem for right now, and I have been looking for an excuse to use this contour gauge for a while, but that'll be something for another video. This segment is sort of a continuation of episode 28, where some aesthetic updating was done to Miss Vicky's front end. The new grill and badge combo really added some pop, but there's no way I can leave Miss Vicky with a red badge on the front and a factory chrome one on the back. Unlike the front badge that stayed on the OEM grill, the rear one has to be removed from the trunk. Now there's a couple of different ways to go about removing it, and I've chosen to use dental floss. That's right, dental floss. Let's head to the back of the car and I'll show you what I mean. Now before we begin, this job has huge paint scratch potential, so before anything goes near my very dirty paint, some serious masking needs to be applied. Okay, that's better. So the way Honda decided to attach this emblem is with two pressure fit pegs and two strips of foam tape. That's where the dental floss comes in. It's thin enough to fit behind the emblem without bending it and strong enough to saw through the adhesive, freeing up the badge. Then with a bit of pressure, the pins pop out of the trunk lid and the badge comes off in one piece. Now, just like any time you're dealing with adhesive, the surface has to be clean. After removing the leftover adhesive, I gave the area a wipe with some wax and grease remover and then applied the new emblem. All right, I don't know about you, but I sure am glad that that's done because I would hate to be driving around with two different badges on the car. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and if you have, be sure to drop a like and comment. As well, don't forget to subscribe for instant notifications so you never miss out on any new content. As always, I'm Rick the Welder, and thank you all very much for watching.